yeah dude i think you should like get your content out more and uh, start uh, making some revenue so you can pay me to consult <laughs> that would be good uh, at underscore motivation on instagram <laughs> fucking plug <laughs> Awesome. I'm gonna go try and get myself a light. Okay, so very new light. I'm trying to go and get myself like a ring light. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Awesome. Cool, bro. Sure Thanks, P V K. Love you. Speak to you tomorrow. Sure, anyway, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to see if I can fetch myself a ring light because Nehru Place is the main market where you get all the tech stuff is shut today. Uh, I'm just gonna go see it in my colony because I wanted to shoot a vlog about what I've learned in the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and the idea behind that is that stop these quick fixes. Like there can't be any more quick fixes and balloons. <laughs> Unstoppable 25 years. Oh, Sablu, light with the ring, rim light, ring light. Okay, so I couldn't find any of the ring lights over here because there weren't any shops that actually keep it. But Nehru Place would be open tomorrow, so maybe I can do that tomorrow and get it. So tonight's video, the lighting should hopefully be good enough in those. Okay guys, so quick lesson from 7 Habits of Highly Effective People. Okay, so here's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Today, the world is filled with get rich quick schemes. Schemes that are telling you, become a millionaire in less than a year. Work less and earn more. Be happy with this one simple exercise. Cure anxiety and depression with one simple technique. That was not intended. Shit, I was just trying to be dramatic. Candid. In essence, these promises might fulfill you in the short run and then make you keep searching for more and more and more such content, trying to find that one thing that can solve all your problems. And that's where the problem begins. We're always looking for these hacks and simple techniques and a one step process or five step process or courses that have words like mastery or ultimate use in it. So all of these things are known as Personality Ethics by Stephen Covey in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, this one. Everything that I'm gonna share with you right now is based out of this book. It's just something that I've learned recently. Well, personality ethics is more about how you can appear to be than how to actually be a person. There are very few people with real merits without having their base in character ethics. Now, the thing is that it's like the tip of the iceberg where it's kind of superficial and you know all these techniques and stuff do help you but what if you have all the techniques of influence but are a deceitful person it's not really going to help the world and by the end of the day if you're not trustworthy then all of these techniques aren't really going to be very helpful in the long run are they it's like people with all the right tools but with wrong principles people will see through that and it's not going to help anyone eventually 
unfortunately most people today have focused on personality ethics myself included and that is because that's literally what's being taught today so to dig into something like this i'm lucky to come across this book it's like having an outside in approach is how stephen covey puts it where you focus on solutions outside of yourself to solve problems that are actually inside of you how does that work from the outside personality ethics based learnings and teachings like how to be a better leader how to influence how to communicate better how to you know create a good first impression and all those kind of things are important but they're not the first thing that you got to focus on the first thing is entirely different so on the other side of personality ethics there are character ethics where personality ethics are all about the top of the iceberg the character ethics are the whole bottom of the iceberg things like being hard working being honest being trustworthy being integral being a good listener being patient persistence all of these kind of things are good good ta- character ethics and think about this if you have all of these things in a trustworthy guy but don't have the skills versus if you're a person who has all the skills but you aren't trustworthy you're the one that's going to be hired you're going to be more trustworthy and that's what's more important people see through the other superficial stuff and it's true you know it as well so instead of having a outside in approach what he talks about having is a inside out approach the inside is about the character the outside is about personality before we get into this i want to try this social experiment with you that he presented in the book this is actually done in harvard business school to prove that two people can be right at the same time and still disagree with each other confusing right so look at this image i'm going to give you 5 seconds all right now i want you to look at this image and if you were anything like me or most of the other people that saw this you see a beautiful lady right now in the experiment what happened is the other set of there was two sets of people one was shown this image before and one was shown another image which i'm going to just show you the people that were shown this image like us thought that this lady was absolutely beautiful but there was another batch of people that thought that this is a 75 year old lady definitely not young and uh, they just couldn't see the young lady that we might be seeing right now so let's try this out with you look at this image for 5 6 7 8 9 10 and now look at this image now if you did not see what i was talking about if you did not see the young lady or the old lady or just saw one of them pause on all three images and see them for yourself until you see both those images of a young lady and a old lady on this image the idea over here is that the map is not the territory um the map is like the paradigm that people live by so for example you were primed by the young person's image and then you saw the old that then you saw the middle image and you saw a young person people who have a primed by the old person image saw that same image and saw an old person over there so just like this our minds are primed by our childhood the beliefs that we have the experiences that we've had and they construct a certain image this is our map of looking at the world each of us think that we see things as they truly are and very objectively in nature but that's not entirely true we see things not as they are but as we are and we see things through the perception of our paradigms based on that is how we see things so if something comes up in front of us we like this is good or bad but that's just our perception it's super important to understand your own paradigms so you can break through them and work towards seeing things for what they actually are so the question comes that how do you see the total truth the total truth is actually seen by guiding principles principles like if you want to um have a good friendship you have to be honest you have to be integral you have to um be a good listener and they're not not true because it's not like you're going to build a good friendship of of dishonesty principles are the closest thing we have to understanding the true territory 
So that's the inside out approach. Essentially, if we want to be good human beings, focus on ourselves first. Don't blame outside people to change. That's the outside in approach. Uh, if you're seeing that you have a problem in your life, don't blame the other people for um, you know fixing themselves or don't ask them to do things differently. Instead, see what is up with you and what can you do better to like solve the problem because that's the only thing you have in your control essentially i'm going to read a quote by aristotle that is mentioned in this book it says we are what we repeatedly do excellence then is not an act but a habit and hence what this book essentially is trying to do is put these good principles into habits that we can practice on a daily basis and move from an outside in approach where we fo- not fo- don't focus on these short term techniques but rather fo- focus on character ethics and principles like lighthouses and guiding lights that we can have to becoming better human beings being more effective that's what success eventually is obviously you can bump things up by having good uh, like personality traits or become a better influencer and stuff but if you aren't like integral or honest or if you aren't uh, proactive uh, everything else is going to fade out this is like the the base of a building everything on top of that is you know based on that i hope you guys found this video helpful and insightful if you like what i shared over here i can share more stuff as i keep reading this book and um, yeah if you did like the video you know what to do and uh, share this with someone you think could possibly benefit from it and what i will do is see you guys tomorrow all right tata bye